Good morning, St. Francis. I hope you're all well. The reading today is from the book of Esther. And so the king and Haman went in to feast with Queen Esther. On the second day, as they were drinking wine, the king again said to Esther, What is your petition, Queen Esther? It should be granted you. And what is your request? Even to the half of my kingdom it shall be fulfilled. And then Queen Esther answered, If I have won your favor, O king, and if it pleases the king, let my life be given me. That is my petition. And the lives of my people, that is my request. For we have been sold, I and my people, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. If we had been sold merely as slaves, men and women, I would have held my peace. But no enemy can compensate us for this damage to the king. Then King Ahasuerus, said to Queen Esther, Who is he, and where is he who had presumed to do this? And Queen Esther said, A foe, an enemy, this wicked Haman. And then Haman was terrified before the king and the queen. And Harbona, one of the eunuchs in attendance on the king, said, Look, the very gallows that Haman had prepared for Mordecai, whose words saved the king, stands at Haman's house fifty cubits high. And the king said, Hang him on that. And so they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. And then the anger of the king abated. Mordecai recorded all these things and sent letters to all the Jews who were in the provinces of King Ahasuerus, both near and far, enjoining them that they should keep the 14th day of the month of Adar and also the 15th day of the same month, year by year as the days on which the Jews gained relief from their enemies, as the months that had been turned for them from sorrow unto gladness, and from mourning unto a holiday, and that they should make them days of feasting and gladness, days for sending gifts of food to one another and presents to the poor. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. 